トン豪華級の呪術 Hello and welcome back to Splinter Cell. Sam's back. We're back. We're in the abattoir. If you remember from last episode, I did say it's one that I kind of struggled with as a kid. So、uh, let's see how we do. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? For now, the broadcast. It'll buy us time to stop the killings. Nicolards is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. That's your first objective. You'll find the rest on your offsite. Okay, first things first is getting through this little courtyard. So you want to come over here and open these. And then we're going to use them to sort of traverse through. Hopefully. I thought this was what made the pool drain. It is, I think. Maybe it's malfunctioning. It doesn't affect us anyway. So, back it up to here. Now. Okay, I wasn't 100% sure if that was going to be dark enough for me to pass through, but it was. So that's fine. That guy's a little close for comfort. Right, in we go. Travel through here. Lift yourself up. Can I get on here? Yes, I can. Perfect. Hammer over. No problems. Cavalry, this is Boundary. The landmines are in place. Make sure nobody without the polarized thermal sensor enters the courtyard. Alright, so this bit's fun because there's landmines. Okay, so we can only see the landmines with our thermal. We know there's two to the right there. And then one ahead. But if I time it right, I should be able to make it into that container before the light passes over. Come on, get in, get in. No. Then we'll back on and have a look for landmines. Because I'm not sure which way I'm going to go here. So I know there's none just directly ahead of me.、Um, it's whether or not the light passes through there. Which it does. But it doesn't pass behind that other container. There's a shadow there. So I could potentially go now. Get myself into position behind this. Get my thermals back on. We've got a landmine there. Any landmines on this side? There's a landmine there. So I'm going to wait for the light to pass over this container again, and then I'm going to try and go straight over this container. Well, get inside it at least. So I think that was it going over. Alright, now thermal's back on. We've got a landmine right there. But I could make it to them boxes. And potentially climb over the boxes, maybe. We'll see, but we've got a goal at least. So the light passes over this way, and then I think it comes back across. Yep. So now I'm gonna move. Into position here. Get the thermals on. So there is a thermal there, but there's not a thermal.、Uh, sorry, there is a landmine. Either side of me, but I, I could go over the boxes potentially.
Hop, 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 hop. Oh my god, to approach this room. Where it looks like we can get up in that corner potentially. So I'll grab this mech here. Now, is it possible to get up there? That's the next question. Yes, look at that. Poco. Okay, this area is a little tricky. I seem to remember letting them on purpose in previous playthroughs and then hiding behind the door, to be honest. But I do think there is a way. It's just very convoluted. So I'm not sure what makes them see or hear you and what doesn't. But I know that I want to move when the light is off, at least. I want all identifying details stricken from the room. Keep the lights off of the walls. Give, Give them fuller eye lights. We need to clearly see their faces when they die. Where's our sound man? Make sure we're close enough to hear prayers. Go. Okay. So far, so good. I feel like I'm just going to go all the way to the end, just to be sure. Wait for the lights to go off. Uh, okay, F. I mean, no one's seeing or hearing this, so I feel like we're okay. What the hell just happened? The broadcast antenna's down. We've got no outgoing signal. We're under attack. The Americans are here. They've taken out the broadcast antenna. Get Nikolwans out of here. I want his helicopter airborne now. I want a squad of technicians with an armed escort on the roof and repairing that antenna. Okay, this could be an issue. Americans found and killed. Yes, sir. Sounds like you shook things up okay, now what we're going to do so is some armed guards are going to be on their way. Soldiers, so you want to wait here, let them pass through. And they'll head down that way. Use that opportunity to slip in behind, open this door, employ the exact same tactic on this guard. He's going to head up there. And go out. And then I'm gonna head down this way. Now, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently in this room. To what I think most people would do. Most people will go across. If I can get up here. Most people will go across that beam. Drop down the other side. There's a guy there. But this guy always causes me issues. Who's there? As you can see, he's about to cause me an issue already. I'm still close. I'm about to use two ring airfoils there, annoyingly. Sorry, three. 
which things got a little bit out of hand. I wasn't expecting the other guy to come around. Now there's one more guy who's about to walk along this corridor now. Okay, he's going to that locker. Christ alive. Alright, that was close. Right, where's he going? He's going through there. Okay, in that case, let's go this way. Right, we can't get through there. We know that. We can't shoot that light out. It's blocked. But we can shoot the other light out. Come on, Sam. Breathe. Take the shot. Nope. Bingo. Bingo! This is Nikolaj. Kill the American soldiers. Take them to the studio and kill them. We'll release the footage whenever we can. Tell Theron we are moving ahead. I don't really want to be able to. I'm just trying to work out now where that other guy is. Where did he go, exactly? Because it's very light in that room. I'm assuming that's him, or that's one of them, two of them, both of them. Now you can see. This is Gringo. I want the American soldiers prepped and in studio. The executions are going forward as planned. Yes, sir. How did that happen? Someone I'm guessing is going to come and investigate that, which is fine, because it might mean that I can take him out. Potentially. Okay. Here we go. Boom. You copy that, Fisher? The executions are going forward. I heard. We got any more diversions? Your gun's full of them. Make sure that escort doesn't reach our troops. All right. Let's keep moving. Now. I'm not entirely sure where this leads, but it looks looks like a good time, so I'm gonna go in. Looks like Sam Fisher would use a vent. Right? But vent's available on Splinter Cell. Probably a good idea to go in it. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, pipe. Pipe our way up here. And now I think we're above them. In the ceiling. What about the broadcast? It's not our place to question. Let's go. Ah, oh, that's right, if I use the thermal, I can see them. So there's one dude there. Okay, there's two dudes there talking. And my only option is to go down there from here. Three dudes, so I need something to happen with them. That's for sure. What have I got on me? A smoke grenade. Two sticky shockers. See, the diversion camera could gas them, but then... It's whether I would have the time to get down there and take them all out, but we might as well try at least once. I'm going to get right up to the edge. In fact, since they're there, I'm going to shoot it in the middle. Gas. Drop in. Oh, I got him. Sick. For some reason. I didn't realise it worked like that, you know. I won't lie. I thought that was actually, um...
similar to the ring air four round where it didn't knock them out but it gives you the opportunity to get like a one hit KO on them I'm just gonna shoot out these lights just in case we don't particularly need anyone coming down and finding these Get you over there, and one more. Grab the satchel, grab the body. Now we move. Now it is still kind of bright, so just for good measure, I'm going to take this light out as well. You never know, you just never know. It's better to be safe than sorry. Another satchel. And I guess them was on for this place because you cannot see. Alright, this is one of the harder areas to navigate in this level. Mostly due to the fact you can't actually see. You need to use your thermals to get through it. But it's certainly possible. So I'm going to come through here, and I like to stick to the right, but you've got to wait for this guy to start moving, because he will see you. Despite it being so hard to see in this place, the guards have no trouble spotting you, which is annoying. And then these turrets are automated. So, wait for it to look the other way, and then slip by. And then we're on to the next room, which is another tricky one. So while he's facing that way, I'm gonna take him out. I've got a man unconscious. While he's checking that out, I'm gonna take him out. Make sure he's fully knocked out. No, I don't necessarily recommend doing it that way, of course. If you want to ghost it, but I... As I've said previously, I'm not ghosting it. And I am just trying to get through these rooms. I don't particularly want to be seen, but I don't mind knocking people out. Grab this guy and knock him out. And then there's an automated turret in this next room. So, in order to avoid that, now that I've got free reign of this room. Um, come up here. Jump up. Hold on, jump up onto... Come on, Sam. Jump up onto this pipe. Bring your legs up, and then you can move along. Right over the turret, and it won't see you. So it won't let you drop down behind the turret, you have to drop down behind this unit. So you can lower your legs here and then Y and hold B for the silent landing. At which point you can creep round to the turret. Didn't need to do that, that's annoying. Interact with the turret. Now disable IFF will make it so that it doesn't register their friendly fire chips so it will shoot the enemies as well as me but it doesn't really work very well on this game what happens is once they get into combat with the turret they suddenly just automatically know where sam is it's like it thinks it's you so it's honestly easy to just deactivate the thing because if the friendly fire thing activates they'll just automatically know where you are and it's kind of bull doesn't really work the way it's intended i don't think but um it is what it is, I guess. So I might just throw this over there. See if I can get him to go and check it out. Boom. Alright, that clears that up for me. Let's 
keep moving. Keep moving again. It's really hard to see. I'm constantly switching. Now we got a checkpoint. That's one of the harder areas out of the way, um, which is definitely a good feeling. Looks like this guy's not going to move, so I'm just going to grab him and bring him outside. Away from that guy. Okay, let's keep it moving. Grab this dude, back him up. Somehow he's heard that, which annoys me a little bit. Cause it's like, how? How did you hear it, mate? You know? Alright, that takes them both out of the equation, so it's not so bad. Let's keep on moving. We've got a vent in the Golden Rule Splinter Cell. If there's a vent, get in it. <laughs> Why not? I don't particularly remember again where it goes, but we've got a checkpoint. Alright, we head down this vent to the end. And. Come on, get me up. Get me up. I hate this bit. Because the controls are so bad for it. I'm trying to get out of this vent. In this opening. There we go. Come on, get up. Perfect. Come on, Sam, I'm on the clock. I'm gonna shoot these lights out. And that one. Alright. I'm gonna leave that med kit, don't need it. What the hell? Hit the switch. Quickly jump over. And go through. And you get the loading screen and you're out. Happy days. Okay, you want to move pretty fast down this area because the guy's about to come in this room. So, get yourself straight in here. If you're by this wall, you can't actually be seen. It looks like I'm in a pretty bright spot, to be honest, but if you look at the light meter, it's all the way in the dark, so you won't see me. Wait for him to head down there, and then on his way back, we'll give chase. And we should be able to grab him at the end of this corridor. Bang. I'll knock him out in here. There's not much of a reason to hide the body, so I'm not gonna. But I'm gonna grab that flare. <clears throat> Sorry about. I am gonna hide the body, just in case. I shouldn't need to. But I can't hear to. So we'll chuck the body there. And then we'll move to this area where I know, as you can see by the shadow, there's a guy just there. Who I don't actually need to take out because I'm not going that way. But, I'd rather he didn't come up behind me. So I am going to take him out. And as 
You saw that could have gone better. But it's okay. He didn't shoot me. He saw me, but he was taken care of before he could really do anything about it. I think there's another flare up here. There is. Pick that up. Now, the flares are useful for the auto turrets. Speaking of auto turrets, we've got one in here. There is also a guy. I'm fairly certain. Yep, there he is. Now, I don't know this guy's routine. Entirely. Looks like he just steps in here. So that's something that the turrets will do. If you shoot a um if you shoot a light bulb. <clears throat> the turrets will actually shoot at the light bulb if you shoot it out. Some sort of like gases expel from it and it shoots at them. Now I need to take this guy out annoyingly because if I don't Gonna cause me a bit of an issue trying to get past that turret. So I'm just gonna knock him out. And, um. Wait, I don't want that at all. That's annoying. Don't want it. Give me the ammo. Okay. We didn't actually need the ammo. Right. Time to see what these flares can do. So while that's shooting at that, obviously, as you've seen, we just make our way out. Now I'm gonna get my gun back out because don't want to get caught without it. You never know when you might need it. All right, two guys at the end of this corridor. Interesting. Just in case, get the sticky shockers ready. Now I've got to work out a route for getting by these two. Lovely boys. Are you sure? They put him on a helicopter. Nicolas has left us. Grinko must think the Americans are here. God can help us if they are. Get myself up here. Come on, Sam. Get it together, Sam. There we go. Keep it moving through the little spider web. <clears throat> and down here, where we've got two turrets, interestingly. So if I disable the, I the IFF. I'm curious whether I can get these guys to come in and have the turrets take care of them for me. So I'm just gonna go back around to here and um, check out. Wait, they're still there. I'm hoping that if I shoot this light out. Alright, I didn't manage to do what I wanted, but them coming through should still kick things off. Because it should still shoot them. <clears throat> okay, I think that's him dead. Yep. One more. Bingo.
That's them taken care of. Now, it's not exactly ghost in it. And yes, they fully died and weren't knocked out, but it's a little bit of fun in it. These turrets are here to be used, so. Deactivate them. I could be wrong, but I think another way to use these turrets, or sorry, get past these turrets. Obviously, you've seen the flares now, you've seen the light bulb. I think you can also take a guard hostage and walk past them because of the IFF chip, but don't hold me to that because I've not tested it in this playthrough. And it has been a long time since I've actually played properly, so. Don't take my word on it, but it's worth a try. Get rid of you. Okay, let's keep moving. Sounds like we've got another turret. We do indeed have another turret. And no way to actually get around there, so you might be wondering, well, crap, what do I do? And, um, that is also what I'm wondering right now. <laughs> I'm curious as to whether I can shoot this up and then make a move. Hmm, didn't work like a light bulb. And there is no actual light bulb for me to shoot. So, it might be time for a flare. <clears throat> Alright, we're through. We're through. Get the guns out. Let's do this. Shite. Not on a biscuit. Come on, you know you want to watch. I don't. Broadcasting murder is barbaric. You're oh, naive. Come on. It's anything but history. It's what a place to stop. Conversation. We don't patrol until the alert quiets. Don't tell me you believe those American super spy stories coming out of Kola. I was wondering if I could maybe gas them, to be honest. Those stories are nothing but Russian winters and Russian vodka. We should be with the others watching the broadcast. Screw it. If they're off that way, then I'm off this way. Unless they find bodies in there. Which they very well might do. I'll know soon enough if they do. I mean, my problem now is I'm not entirely sure what's down here. I know that this bit is a bit that I hate. Because there's actually a bunch of shooting that goes on. That's pretty much unavoidable, if I'm being honest. Check my thermals, because don't want anyone to mess me up. So I'm going to disable friendly fire, then deactivate them. That way if I reactivate these things, the friendly fire won't be on. Which is handy. And in we go. You are American. You're Chinese. The PRC ambassador to Myanmar. I must speak with a representative of your government. They hear everything I do. Shoot. Kong Furong does not represent the will of China. He is a splinter faction of the Chinese army. All of them fanatics and fools. What does he want? First, Taiwan. With others to follow. Gifts to the PRC he thinks they will not be able to refuse. How is Nikolads involved? Trade. Farong provides transport and munitions in exchange for weapons-grade nuclear waste. Does China know? No. And unless they are issued proof of Farong's activities, I fear the certainty of war. What's the proof? On the computer in his office. My office. He has overridden and reset the lock. I force him to open his computer and forward the contents to the PRC. And our countries don't go to war. Such is my hope. Okay, here's the hard part.
Okay, come straight out here. Those turrets don't help much. You might think it'd be a good idea to turn them on. It would if they were. But they're bloody well done. So, wait here. Two guys are going to come enter this area. Where we can take them out. And by the way, you have to kill everyone at this point. Well, you only have to kill Grinko, actually, but... in order to protect the other guys it's a lot easier to do this now if you wait here you should get a couple more there's one the other one should run straight in here he didn't he didn't come on take him out all right. Now, if I'm right, there's probably only one more, which is Grinko himself. Yeah, see that's Grinko at the back there. That's him taking out. Wasn't the prettiest of endings, but it's also why I don't really like this level. It's one of the least splinter celly. Especially the endings. That's not good. Get back to the embassy. He's trying to destroy the evidence that could keep us out of a war. Right. But that does it for that mission. You kind of have to make sure you, if you kill Grinko at the end there, everyone else is already dead because during that radio transmission at the end, you can't actually move. And a lot of the time, you could kill Drink Grinko first, and everyone else kills you while you listen to the radio. Since the unexplained interruption of the webcast executions, no information of the captured American soldiers has surfaced. Has instated a complete media blackout regarding diplomatic negotiations between the US and China. Authorities warn of the very real possibility of Georgian mercenaries releasing falsified news reports. The possibility that China was in any way involved in the still unconfirmed execution of American soldiers. In the hope that the crisis can be averted before leading to world war. Okay, Chinese Embassy Part 2. We're returning to Chinese Embassy. Um, but that will of course be next episode uh, which will be next week so if you want to check out Chinese Embassy Part 2 tune in next time like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and um, I'll see you next week Matane.